Revealing what colored dinosaurs were was once thought impossible, but the discovery around a decade ago that some pigments can actually preserve in fossils has allowed us to reconstruct the likely color patterns of certain dinosaur species. One of the best places to find pigments preserved in dinosaurs is the early Cretaceous G-hole biota of China. Discovered here in the mid-1990s, Sinosauropteryx has feathers preserved that retain remnants of the original pigment that gave the animal its color in life. This means that we can reconstruct its color patterns to give a better understanding of how it may have behaved and to tell us more about the environment in which it lived. One of the color patterns seen on Sinosauropteryx is that it had a dark back and a light underside. This is a kind of camouflage called countershading. It works because in the daytime, sunlight comes from above, meaning that the top surface of an object is illuminated while the underside is shadowed. In seeing this, our brains are able to recognize things as three-dimensional objects. In countershaded animals, the top surface is darker and the lower surface is lighter. This evens out the effect of shadowing, so countershaded animals appear less three-dimensional, a would-be benefit for both predators and prey. Importantly, lighting conditions vary between different types of habitat. Animals living in open areas with lots of light tend to have a sharp, dark to light transition high up on the body, while animals living in closed areas, such as forests, tend to have more gradual transitions positioned lower down. This means that we could determine the likely habitat that Sinusoroptrix was living in 130 million years ago, based on its pattern of countershading. To determine in which environment the countershading in Sinusoroptrix would have been most effective, we made three-dimensional models of its body and observed them under varying light conditions. This showed us exactly where shadows would occur in each different habitat. We then compared that to the actual color patterns seen in the fossils. The countershading transition was abrupt and high up on the body, best positioned to negate the shadows cast by direct sunlight. We can therefore infer that Sinusoroptrix was best suited to have lived in an open environment. With this work, we have shown that by looking at paleocolor, we can start to understand important aspects of the behaviors of extinct animals, and also better interpret the long-lost habitats and environments in which they lived.